seen the shots of the snow it snowed yesterday or no two evenings ago and I like shouted about it on my snapchat I was so excited to see snow and I couldn't believe that there was snow in Brighton because it's not really somewhere that snows very often and I think it snowed overnight because it's still snowing this morning and I just I love it it's so magical and it's kind of quite late um, because I spent a lot longer in the gym than I expected because I was doing like a new like a random workout that I had seen on Instagram and I was sitting there like I don't know if anyone any of you do this if you follow a workout you kind of have to spend a lot of time looking at it and be like right what am I doing next so yeah I, I've been a bit slow this morning but I quite like having slow mornings and enjoying my walk back from the gym but now it's time to make a smoothie I was gonna make porridge but I don't know what it is but about porridge in a minute, I just, I'm just craving smoothies a lot more. But I want to show you the one I make with oats or how to make smoothies with oats. It makes it a lot more filling and it's just really delicious. What are you after? Delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. Right, so let's make this. Can you help me film it? Uh. <laughs> last one but my days are very similar let me know if you'd like to see a morning routine because I feel like I've got one down now um, the thing I had this morning was a recipe from another video which are my raw date brownies and they're so good I genuinely think that I'm gonna be making those along with the bliss balls or the date balls every week because they're just so delicious to have as a snack and something to have before the gym. Today I have a video to film and also we need to go food shopping because we don't really have much food because we went away for the weekend which was really fun and I will be uploading the vlogs for that onto our vlog channel. If you didn't know I have a vlog channel with my boyfriend here, who he is. <laughs> and um, yeah we've got some vlogs from our weekend away which is really fun coming up and yeah we haven't gone shopping since then so I thought it'd be fun to take you grocery shopping we're not doing like a full week shop because i'm going home to cornwall this weekend so we're just going to get some stuff for the next three days or so and i'm also going to be making a salad like a, a quick quinoa buddha bowl type of thing for lunch because i have been eating that the last few days and i asked on instagram if you'd like to see the recipe because it's just my favorite meal to have for lunch and for dinner i just my favorite thing are rice bowls and they always have been or some variation of like a, a quinoa rice bowl because it's just so delicious so i'll show you how to make that for lunch um and now i'm gonna get on with some work it's the last day of february where has the time gone to death, I don't so it is about half past 12 and it's lunchtime but we need to do some shopping i think i mentioned that earlier i've just finished filming a video for eating disorder awareness week because it is eating disorder awareness week so i highly urge you if you 
haven't seen the video I posted on Wednesday, please go watch it, especially if you're going through an eating disorder or disordered eating, or you're feeling a bit shit, because I think the more of us who share our stories and our experiences, the, the better and happier and healthier we will all be mentally and physically and yeah. <laughs> also, just a little disclaimer, like I said in my last What I Ate Today, like I want to say in every What I Ate Today, this video is only ever intended to show you some ideas of foods you can eat as a vegan and some recipe ideas. It's not to say that if you eat differently that's bad and that you have to copy the way I eat. I'm just sharing and I eat differently every day. I eat lots of different types of foods and yeah, I just wanted to say that because if you think you watch me and think, oh my gosh, she cooks so much or she eats so healthy or she eats so unhealthy or whatever, it's, everyone's different. So I'm just here to share some recipe ideas and food ideas and that's, that's, ah! <laughs> way to make, change the tone. That went through me, shit. you've been waiting there for a while. <laughs> Okay, okay, we'll change the subject, we're going now, but yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Wait, was it a serious topic? <laughs> I was talking oh. about eating disorders. Oh. oh comic relief. <laughs> yeah, some comic relief. Right, let's go shopping. And did you find the spare battery? Yeah, no. Oh, you're taking the battery from my camera? No. Then you must have found the spare battery. No, I haven't. It's usually I have taken the battery from your camera. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get my reusable bags and my backpack. And we're going to go shopping. I have mentioned this on my, our vlog channel, but what we've started to do recently is come to our local health food shop before going to Tesco. So if you have a local health food shop, because I know that some people won't, but if you do have one nearby that you can go to easily, then try visiting there first before going to your supermarket, because often they'll have things that are plastic free, that are locally grown or locally made, and also it's nice to support local business rather than you know a huge supermarket, because I know it's convenient, but um, I really enjoy the process. I enjoy coming here, having a browse. They often have like new things, new vegan things that I can try. They have like so many different brands of stuff. So they've got like so many different brands I've never seen before, organic things. And um, yeah, we tend to come here and buy anything that matches the price similarly and anything that's like way more expensive we'll get from Tesco. So for example, they only have chickpeas here that are like organic, triple the price. So we're gonna go to Tesco to get that and they don't have soy mints so we're gonna to go to Tesco to get soy mints but we've got this whole basket full of stuff and including these bananas that are like going off um, for basically exactly the same price as it would be in Tesco if not some of them cheaper some of them a bit more expensive but similar How right much the maple syrup is cheaper the maple syrup's cheaper the bananas and are cheaper it's organic. and it's organic the Tesco one isn't yeah so um just give it a go even if you only get a couple things it makes a difference and also they tend to have less they tend to have things um in recyclable packaging and less plastic i mean there's also lots of plastic but they often have bulk stuff like they've got all this bulk um infinity foods things so yeah do we need more oats yeah okay should we get some from here the kilogram Oh, the last one. Perfect. Yay. <laughs> and again, that's the same price as Yeah, like and it's organic. Okay, so I've just laid everything out on the table to show you everything that I just bought because this makes it easier to see how much stuff I got and how much money I spent. So we spent £25 in the first shop and then we spent £8 in Tesco. So I'll just quickly run through it with you. So we've got some bread, some bananas, which were free because they are going overripe, two lemons, two avocados, mushrooms, tomatoes, broccoli, cucumber. I'm trying to do it first shot first. Tomatoes, maple syrup, tofu, Biolife cheese. We've got this mozzarella one. We're going to use this later. 
and the jumbo oats and all of that was 25 pounds and then from tesco i got some soya yogurt some almond unsweetened i usually go for soy but this was an offer and then we got some sun-dried tomatoes some chickpeas because they're way cheaper in tesco they're like 50p or something and then some whole wheat for silly and some mince made with soya because we're going to be making a pasta bake for dinner so that is my haul so that was 33 pounds in total and that's a lot of food so that is the little mini shopping haul we normally spend a bit more than that we normally spend about 40 pounds um but as i said it's the middle of the week we normally go shopping on like a sunday or monday so it's kind of a bit different what i like to do sometimes is try and like eat all the food we have so i did that for the last few days and um i'll probably do that when i return back from here so uh back from cornwall um because it kind of saves some money it means that maybe one week you don't have to do as much shopping this bread looks so good have to have a slice now what do i have with it some butter yeah. is, there, is there some butter oh i know Science told us how we could reach the other side And you start to doubt I don't blame you cause I feel the same Cause I'm making all the home for so long And we should be proud All that we can do is hope for miracles Or just let it go And if you're wondering where this uh, fork is from and where the bowl is from, it is from Coconut Bowls and I think I have a discount code. So I will leave the link to that down below. So that was a lot more filling than I thought it would be. I think because of the avocado, I didn't have that on there last time. So this will be either consumed later or Alex will eat it. Good evening, it is like six o'clock now. Or is it quarter to six? Quarter to six. Quarter to six. And I've had a little bit of a stressful day, not gonna lie. I had some copyright issues with my videos and I had to take two of them down, which was... <laughs> it was just a little bit stressful. Um, and it's, I don't know, sometimes I get stressed. I'm quite sensitive. I'm just, I'm just really sensitive and I feel very stressed now. So I'm gonna make some dinner and hopefully cooking, cooking always calms me down. I find it like therapy for me, so this will calm me down and make me feel good. And we're having a pasta bake. Yay, Alex, yay. I'm gay. <laughs> I think it's ready to come out. So let's give this mozzarella a try. I've never tried this um, mozzarella. I must admit, it's not really melted the best. Mm. You can't fault a pasta bake. Mm. Right, I've got an announcement to make. This chocolate is literally the best chocolate. 
I mean, it's so good. Milk chocolate alternative with orange pearls. Have I had this before? Yeah. It's so good. It's got these like little crunchy pieces of orange in it. Look at the little crunchy bits in there. It makes it so good. I'm going to finish this video today. We're watching some Mad Men, which is our current obsession. And I'm gonna enjoy some chocolate and then go to bed, I think, soon, because I'm feeling really tired and a bit exhausted from today. You know you have some of those those days sometimes? I don't know why, but sometimes I just feel exhausted. And I guess because of a few issues, technical issues, I don't know if I said, but my video that was exporting didn't export, so I had to redo it, and it was a bit of a, ugh, so annoying. But anyway, I'll see you in next week's video. Because I said about the copyright problem, I will be re-uploading two videos that I had to take down. So they will be going up at the weekend or soon. So if you're wondering and you're thinking, wait, I've seen this video before, that's why. Bye guys. So I need to do. So it's a thumbnail. <laughs> and then these, these like super old pictures. I love like these pictures. Oh, there's books as well. Books, books.